It's been about two and a half years since BMW launched this F30 generation 3 series in South Africa. It's a significant car from a local perspective, not only because it's built at BMW South Africa's Roslyn factory, but also because it's the best selling car in the BMW lineup. Now, of course, the premium compact sedan segment is a very competitive one, and particularly so at the moment because of the launch of the latest generation C-Class. And one way to keep a car like this in the limelight is to create a series of special or limited edition models. This is the 3 Series Performance Edition, and it also happens to be the latest member of our long-term test fleet. The M Performance Edition starts off life as a normal 3 Series sedan. It's available as an optional package on all 3 Series variants, petrol and diesel, and adds 50,000 Rand to the retail price. That's about 43% less than buying and fitting the Performance Edition parts individually. The Performance Edition is a limited model with only 500 being built and our long-termer is based on the muscular 335i. Because BMW sells a substantial number of 3 Series cars every month, the mainstream models don't attract that much attention. But the same can't be said of this particular example. The Laguna Seca Blue is a very striking color. And of course, the car also benefits from a number of add-ons out of BMW's performance parts bin. The result is a car that looks a bit like a Junior M3. The differences between standard sedan and the M Performance Edition are pretty obvious. There's an eye-catching body kit that includes pronounced matte black soles, a carbon fiber boot spoiler, a new front splitter, blacked out kidney grills, carbon look exterior mirror housings and a different rear apron, complete with big bore exhaust tailpipes. Those big 19 inch wheels are also part of the Performance Edition package. The exterior treatment of our 335 hour long-term car might be quite extrovert, but the interior is much more understated. And in fact, with all the black upholstery and this anthracite roof lining, it can look almost somber. Fortunately, you've got this metallic look detailing to lift it ever so slightly. And of course, there's a lot of standard kit in here as well. The cabin execution is pretty much standard 3 Series, which means the ergonomics are intuitive, tactile quality is impressive, and comfort levels are high. The three-spoke leather-clad steering wheel has multifunction controls, and those electrically adjustable sports seats are among the best in the business. Encountering this 335i's straight-six turbocharged engine is a bit like meeting an old friend. That's because our previous long-term car, which was an M135i, has a slightly more powerful version of exactly the same engine. In this iteration, it has 225 kilowatts of maximum power linked to 400 newton meters of torque, and the gearbox and eight-speed automatic driving the rear wheels. Want more muscle? Then opt for the retrofitable M Performance Power Kit, which ups output by 15 kilowatt and 30 newton meters. There's also an M Performance Exhaust. Both updates are planned for our long term next year. With its bigger wheels, its fatter rubber, its stiffer suspension, and the reduced ride height, this Performance Edition BMW feels much more businesslike, much sportier than the mainstream model. It's pretty rapid too, although of course we're still running in this car. BMW claims a 0 to 100 time of 5.5 seconds and a top speed of 250 kilometers an hour, the latter of course limited. The steering has got nice heft and feel, especially on the move, and the performance brakes means there's a lot of bite for extra stopping power as as well. The Beamer offers various selectable driving modes. In sport, everything, gear changes, throttle, steering becomes just a little crisper. Opt for Sport Plus and the stability control even allows mild oversteer. But you still benefit from all the practical attributes of a four-door sedan, including a fair-sized boot. BMW builds some pretty rapid cars, including the very latest M3 and M4, but of course those cars, for all their performance, also cost a fair amount of money. What's interesting about our Performance Edition long-term car is that it provides some of that performance magic, but at a value-added price, and it looks the part too. The turbocharged straight six is as smooth and as muscular as ever, while the Sport Auto gearbox reciprocates with rapid, incisive shifts. Eye-catching styling and the exclusivity of a limited edition model add to our new long-termers appeal, but the paintwork is louder than the exhaust note.